According to Elon Musk, various historical achievements happened on SpaceX's second Starship launch attempt that people are not aware of. And Elon Musk surprised everyone by sharing his insights about the mistakes that have been made with the previous Starship rocket launches and the incredible progress that has just been made with the latest Starship test. Musk also announced when SpaceX's third test will be ready, and he also surprised everyone with a new announcement of a new next-generation engine. However, according to Musk, there was so much misinformation, progress, and historical achievements that have been made with the latest Starship launch that people are not aware of. As Elon says, now we can say for sure that we are very close to landing humans on the moon and Mars. This is a lot of new information, so let's explain, according to Elon Musk, what exactly happened on SpaceX's second Starship launch attempt that people are not aware of. And so, Elon Musk announced on X that they are fixing all mistakes, and SpaceX's third Starship vehicle is expected to be ready for launch in about three to four weeks. This timeline suggests the vehicle could be technically prepared before Christmas. However, there's no certainty that it will receive clearance for launch by then, as SpaceX is still awaiting a launch license from the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration. And despite the explosion of the Starship on Saturday, SpaceX views its second test flight positively. The objective was to fly the 165-foot-tall upper stage of the Starship nearly around the Earth, from SpaceX's facility in South Texas to a location in the Pacific Ocean close to Hawaii. However, the Starship upper stage exploded around eight minutes post-launch, mirroring the earlier destruction of its large first stage, Super Heavy, after 4.5 minutes. Despite these setbacks, the advanced rocket achieved several key goals, including a smooth takeoff. SpaceX highlighted in a recent mission summary that all 33 Raptor engines of the Super Heavy booster ignited successfully. For the first time, they sustained a full-duration burn during the ascent phase, Starship achieved successful separation from the Super Heavy using a method known as hot staging. Around 2.5 minutes into the flight, SpaceX described how Super Heavy powered down most of its Raptor engines, leaving only three active. Simultaneously, it ignited the six Raptor engines of the second stage before the two vehicles separated. This was the first successful attempt of such a technique on a vehicle of Starship size. Normally, the engines of the upper stage are ignited only after the stages have separated. After separation, Super Heavy executed a flip maneuver and a boost back engine burn, aiming for a controlled water landing in the Gulf of Mexico. However, about 3.5 minutes post-launch, the booster unexpectedly broke apart or exploded. The six Raptor engines of the upper stage propelled it to an approximate altitude of 90 miles and a top speed of around 14,900 miles per hour. The stage nearly completed its intended full duration burn. The flight ended with the loss of telemetry near the end of the second stage burn, just before engine cutoff, after over eight minutes of flight. SpaceX confirmed that a safe command destruct was activated, based on the vehicle's performance data. The cause of the telemetry loss, however, was not speculated upon in the update. The performance on Saturday significantly improved from Starship's inaugural test flight on April 20th, which had objectives similar to the recent one. During that first flight, several of Super Heavy's Raptor engines malfunctioned early, and the two stages of the vehicle did not separate as planned. Consequently, SpaceX deliberately destroyed the out-of-control vehicle, which had reached a peak altitude of about 24 miles, around four minutes after takeoff. This initial flight inflicted notable damage on parts of the Starbase, creating a large crater under the orbital launch mount. To prevent similar damage in subsequent launches, SpaceX installed a water-dispensing steel plate beneath the mount before the second flight. This modification was successful, as the launch mount remained intact after Saturday's launch, according to SpaceX's report. The U.S. Federal Aviation Administration is currently overseeing SpaceX's investigation into the recent incident. The timeline for the completion of this assessment and the issuance of a new launch license by the FAA remains uncertain. However, SpaceX is eager to proceed with future flights. Preparations are already underway at Starbase for Starship's third flight test. This includes finalizing the vehicles and conducting static fires of the ship and booster, which are brief tests to verify the functionality of a vehicle's engines before launch. It's interesting to point out that the groundbreaking aspect of SpaceX's Starship lies in its design for complete reusability. Unlike the Falcon 9, SpaceX's current primary rocket, which reuses its first stage after extensive refurbishment and discards the second stage, Starship intends to reuse both stages. The booster stage is designed to return to the launch pad, executing an atmospheric flip and being caught by two mechanical arms, known as chopsticks, 
on the launch tower. This design facilitates rapid relaunch with either reused spacecraft or different payloads. In recent years, Falcon 9 has achieved a launch frequency of about once per week. In preparation for the Artemis program certification, SpaceX is ramping up to monthly launches. Ultimately, the goal is to achieve multiple launches daily with the fully operational Starship. This approach reflects the distinctive innovation and development style of Elon Musk and SpaceX. Characterized by swift innovation, extensive testing, pushing the boundaries of technology, and learning from failures, this method contrasts sharply with NASA's more cautious and methodical approach. This strategy has brought SpaceX considerable success, outpacing more traditional public and private space organizations. And yesterday, Musk revealed an image, highlighting the concluding quartet of V-1 starships at Starbase. This image displays the quartet of starships, epitomizing the ultimate version of V-1. Initially, SpaceX unveiled the V-1, zero model of the starship in 2020. Despite the creation of numerous starship prototypes earlier, the V-1 model was distinctly crafted for a test flight in orbit. The forthcoming model of the starship is projected to incorporate advanced Raptor engines, expected to excel beyond present capabilities. Musk tweeted, I'm very excited about the next-gen Raptor engine that is robust enough not to require a heat shield. The new generation Raptor engine will have more thrust, amongst several other improvements. With that, Musk tweeted, Four more Starships, the last of V1. And it probably means that we should say goodbye to Starship V1, because something new is coming. And this is awesome news.